Well, well, well. Look who's coming up the driveway. It's only been a year since he abandoned me up here in Clear Lake. So, I wonder what he's up to. What? Did I hear that right? He's going to take me back home to Livermore? Yes! Hi everyone, I'm Evan. Short for Evan Rood Outboard Engine. I'm now a helicopter engine, although I don't know how I'm going to fly without a prop and some water. For the past 12 months, I've been sitting up here on Clear Lake, collecting dirt on my body, along with this helicopter frame that I'm attached to. The last time my master was up here, Jim Burrow, I was started and allowed to run for a couple of minutes. Since I was still on life support, a water hose, and no monitoring gauges to watch my water temperature, they didn't allow me to run very long, for they didn't want me to burn up. Good move, guys. Anyway, this is what I sounded like the first time they started me for about 30 seconds worth. So, I'm going home, and this is a short report of my trip home. On August 10th, 2006, I was loaded onto Zip's helicopter trailer, and with a little bit of tie-down rope, we were on our way. We left Lucerne in Clear Lake, heading east on 20, following the lake's edge. 45 minutes later, we turned onto Highway 16, and the windy road trip began. Around 30 minutes later, we passed Cash Creek Casino, and 30 minutes after that, we stopped at a fruit stand to check my tie-down ropes. While at the fruit stand, my master and Dave, the guy helping my master, bought some fruit to eat for the rest of the way home. After a short stop, we were on the road again. For the next two hours, I went to sleep, but what else is a boat engine to do while tied, it, tied down to a trailer? Around 6 p.m. we arrived at home at Livermore, and my master told everyone to be very quiet, for he didn't want to let the wife know that he had brought me home. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. The more quieter they tried to be, the more noise they were making. After a lot of noise making, they finally got me tucked away in my resting spot, closed the garage door, and left the return Zip's trailer back to Livermore Airport. A few minutes later, I felt a presence in the garage, and it wasn't my master. I didn't move a metal flake, hoping she wouldn't see me. Yeah, right. A moment later, I heard my master drive up and get out of Dave's truck. I heard him go into the house, tiptoe around to find no evidence of his wife watching TV. He finally came into the garage to find his wife staring at him as she yelled out, what the hell is that piece of crap doing here? Boy, talk about getting your feelings hurt. I thought she liked me. Anyway, my master knew he was in the doghouse and just kept his mouth shut and disappeared as fast as he could. Anyway, the trip home was not eventful, other than seeing my master get his ass chewed out. And what's going to happen next is anyone's guess. Who knows? I could sit here for the next ten years, but I hope not. Anyway, see you at the next update report. Evan.